What's up, X and YouTube? I'm Matt A here. Today I'm going to talk about, that's right, the Starfield update, the new update for May that Bethesda just announced. And I have to say, right out of the gate, I'm going to say it is fantastic. The 2024 is Bethesda's comeback year because they are doing amazing stuff right now. Uh, Fallout 76 has some really good updates. I think the Fallout Fallout 4 needs some more improvement, but this is definitely their year because what they put out for Starfield and the roadmap they laid out for Starfield is pretty incredible. I love all of the changes that are in there, uh, especially the city maps. And if we go here real quick, we could see some of the things. I'm going to play some of the highlights here. So, of course, we have, you know, city maps. These look great so we took what's there we blew it all up and instead now we have i mean that's beautiful guys that is maps beautiful these the terrain, maps are great all the detail on the terrain trees rocks all the structures in the loaded zone this it's is beautiful this is going to make the game so yeah, much this is going to make the game so much easier to traverse like this this is going to be even better than fallout right this is going to be incredible because if you go over here you you can see all of the map the actual terrain because I remember when I was playing, I could never find what I was looking for, right? So let's say, you know, I'm landing on, you know, I don't know, one of the planets, right? And it, I wanted to get to the water to scan for the, the you know, uh, uh, the flora fauna and things like that. I want to scan for the fish. I'm trying to land by the beach. I get as close as I can on the map, but I still can never find it. And then when you open the map, it's like this black and white thing. You could, you could never find the terrain you were looking for. Now you could go see the actual terrain where you are in location to these cities or structures and actually build your base. So this is going to make base building fantastic. This is going to make, you know, um, everything related to that much better. Exploration way better. And of course, they have a surprise at the end. They are adding vehicles. This game is going to be one of the best games ever made once they are finished with, sh with the Shattered Space DLC. This is going to be the one of the best games ever made, guaranteed. Classic Bethesda, billion dollar franchise, 100%. This, I really like this adding part. A bunch of gameplay options. There's a lot of cities. Um, I really like this. For all the shops, the because in this part you can um in this part you can kind of go through right you could go through and just click and kind of see where you want to go in real time i want to watch that again i really really like this part let me get the mouse out the way oh, hold on let me get the let me backtrack a little bit here get the easier to get around the cities you can see markers for all the shops i really really love this part because you can visually see where you want to go and it doesn't take you out of the experience it's kind of like an augmented reality now this is another exciting thing let's pause this for a second look at all of the player choices that they have added to this this is truly incredible i love to see it and for old school Old school Elder Scrolls fans, you're going to notice something here. This is the Daggerfall system reimagined. A lot of Starfield has a lot of elements from Daggerfall. The procedural generation, the openness, the, the Radiant Quest. Well, not the Radiant Quest, but the uh, similar quest, right? Um, things about the exploration, uh, the maps that they were trying to do. Everything took a lot of inspiration from Daggerfall, including your traits and things like that. Well, this is actually taking a step out of Daggerfall. So if you haven't played Daggerfall, when, you, when you're when you starting your character, right, you can pick, basically you pick your difficulty and it slides your experience. So the more, the more OP you make your character, the lower your experience is, right? Because you're making your character you know, giving your character more and more buffs. So the more buffs you give your character, the less XP you get. And they took that same system here and modernized it. So you could see enemy combat damage, okay? The higher you put it, the less experience you get. So you have to balance it out with all of these other things. Look at that great customization. And for players like me who don't want to rely on mods or they want that vanilla experience the way the devs intended it to be, this is incredible because it is like Daggerfall. So if I want to put my 
my ammo weight all the way down to weight weightless, it's going to give me negative XP. And you can see if you just have weighted 4% XP. And if I go here, look at this carry carry capacity. If you look at carry capacity, greatly increased carry capacity for your person, you get negative 8% AP, uh, XP. Give me all the carry space that I can get. Give me all of the weight that I can hold. I do not care about that XP. Also, cargo access distant, vendor credits, another big one, medical item healing, all of these little things that you can tweak to make the gameplay what you want it to be. And I'll play a little bit of the clip from it because it kind of explains it a little bit better in detail, but I really, really like this part of it. With update four, we're also adding a bunch of gameplay options. So for that, players can really tune their experience how they prefer. Uh, we're yeah, adjusting that, things yeah. like capacity yeah. of vendor credits, the actual carry weight. Beautiful. Yes, yes, give me all uh, the carry weight, yes. Difficulty. So some of those, depending on how you play, you can actually tune yeah. to be like space combat more difficult or gun combat less difficult. It's really up to you. And depending on how you balance them, it'll change how you get XP. That's awesome. So you're really upping the ante for players yeah. that want an even bigger challenge. Yeah, and with and that, we actually- That is the greatest thing about this. It's like you can really up it. And this is what I want to do right here. I want to put this right there on extreme that's what i want to try i want to make an extreme playthrough and that's another thing because you know as players we can customize all these different playthroughs that we want to have of the game right i want to do i want to do the extreme playthrough that's what i want to do i want to do the extreme playthrough and uh you know see how that goes i really want to do that um so uh and i guess that's it for like the main updates that i care about of course there's the console updates you can read the full patch notes the console console updates for xbox and uh you know it's going to have a performance mode now you know it can target fps uncapped fps uh you can adjust your frame rate depending on the pc so if you have a 120 hertz display you might want to do you know 40 fps instead of 30 just you know because it runs smoother because 40 divides into 120 etc cetera, etc cetera. um i think there are and then the last thing that i want to talk about really are the vehicles because that's going to be great and I want to go to the T's. Let me find the T's for the vehicles. That's going to be good. Let's see. Yes, I do. That is important too, I will say. That is important too, I will say. You can now, when you enter the when unity. A hunter, the one thing I want to do is be able to respect my traits. So we're adding that. So in case you're getting tired of wanted or want to change your alien DNA, and you really want that new dream home experience, you get to choose that when going through the Unity. In addition, you'll be able to rechange your appearance. I'm really living that. And you know, uh, just a side note, this game, it really is beautiful. The only thing that they need to work on really in this engine um, are the, t the hair textures maybe a little bit and the lighting. If they hire like experts for lighting and experts for uh, hair textures, I mean, this engine is gonna be beautiful, right? It just needs a little bit of optimization. I'm really looking forward to seeing a Fallout game in this engine. Imagine if New Vegas was in this engine, like insane graphics. Imagine the next Fallout, hopefully New Vegas 2 or something from Obsidian. Obsidian always already has the engine. They already have the assets. Make it in the Starfield engine. It's going to be beautiful, guys. Beautiful. And then, you know, let me go to the tease the vehicle because... This is a first for Bethesda. No one thought they could actually add vehicles. I mean, even modders could had trouble adding vehicles in their games with the engine. So I guess they engineered that in. So let's see if we can go ahead and find that. I want to see. Let me get rid of myself for a second. We'll get right, you're full on into yourself. it. Um, we do need more weapons and things like that, too. But let's see if I can. Oh, here we go. Here's here's the money shot down the horizon. So the team is working on our first land vehicle. So you can that looks good. That's pretty smooth, guys. Obviously, That's a pretty smooth playthrough. Um, I do like the decorations. I do expansion. look at the artwork That's for Shattered exciting. Space. What about they are putting a lot of um, they are putting a lot of detail in Shattered Space, which I really enjoy, too. So uh, all in all. This is uh, a really good start to 
Starfield 2.0. For some reason, though, we have to admit, for some reason, gaming now, it's like when a company releases a game, it's basically a beta test. You know, we have to think about that now. For some reason, it, you know, uh, Diablo 4 is a good example. Uh, Fallout 76 is a good example. Cyberpunk, that's a good example. All of these games lately, they they release, and we're basically beta testing them until 2.0 arrives. Now, I, I'd be better, I'd feel better about it if they were just honest, right? And said, hey... This is, you know, this is basically early access. This is a beta test. You're paying for beta test. We, this is our roadmap. We're going to be completely transparent. This is our roadmap. You're playing to do the beta test. You're getting the game early. We're going to constantly update it. And that's that. Just be honest about it. That's, that's what I would like to see. I would like to see a little bit more honesty about it because we see this time and time again. And now we're going to see the same thing with Starfield. With Starfield, we're going to see basically the same thing, right? We're going to see all of these things that should have been in there in the first place, like this. It, the game should have launched like this later on. Now we get the experience that we want. Then we get the vehicles, right? Then we get the stuff that we want in it a year later. And the same thing happened with Diablo. Same thing happened with Fallout 76. Same thing happened with Cyberpunk. Uh, and a couple of other games happened. Uh, and this is why Baldur's Gate 3 took so long to develop. Because they had everything out of the gate. And they actually did have an early access, I believe, right? So um, that's all I have to say for that. I love Starfield. I'm glad that this is going to be a home run for Bethesda. This is going to be a billion dollar franchise. And you have to remember, when Fallout 3 started, okay, it already had... A following. It already had an IP. It already had two titles before Bethesda got it. So it already had a jump start. And when Fallout 3 first came out, it wasn't even that big. Now it's a billion dollar franchise after decades, right? So the same thing's going to be true for Starfield. Starfield is still developing its identity. It will be a billion dollar franchise. Elder Scrolls started out really rough, right? Arena was okay. Daggerfall didn't appeal to the masses because it was in that in-between time where people were switching to more 3D type uh, games on consoles and things like that. So it kind of fell through the cracks a little bit. And then you saw more Morrowind came and it really knocked it out of the park with the third iteration. For Starfield, I don't think we're going to have to wait for Starfield 2 or Starfield spinoff. I think Starfield, when Shattered Space comes out, this game is going to be incredible. That's all I have for you today. Like and subscribe. Excuse the setup, I'm just getting started because I do have a full-time job, but I just decided to talk about gaming actually and get away from politics as much, right? So if you enjoy it, go ahead and like and subscribe. I will put out videos whenever I get a chance because I do also have a full-time job right now. So, and hopefully I'm going to have a better setup too in the future. So, all right. Thank you.